So far so good with our SCP book. We have database backend which we can connect to. We have built a number of views we can use. We are missing functionality and, well, our software looks ugly. This is something we will try to address during this section. We will learn how to style VADIN applications, how to build custom themes, and what are the performance considerations. But first things first, let's start with the basics of styling and the organization of files. VADIN is a framework for developing web applications, which means that whatever we code ends up in the browser window rendered as HTML. Therefore, we can style it using CSS as any other HTML page. CSS, Cascading Style Sheets, is a presentation language for markup languages. It has its own syntax based on selectors and rules. There are numerous tutorials and introductions to CSS available throughout the internet. We will go through the basics in the next video. The most important thing for us to know right now is the class selector, which is just a class name with dot in front of it. This way, we are able to reference style names we set for elements in Varinco and apply proper formatting to them. We have already discussed how to do it. Each UI component has a method add style name, which allows us to do exactly that. Pass a style name as its CSS class to the browser. Varin uses SASS, SAS, syntactically awesome style sheets. The syntax is almost identical to CSS, except that SAS allows more flexibility. Most importantly, nested rules and variables. SAS file gets compiled to CSS automatically by the framework. How to tell Vadin to use our custom CSS file? By creating a theme. Vadin plugin for Eclipse has an option to create a new Vadin theme. When we do that, you can see that our main UI class has been annotated with the name of our theme, recipe book theme. Some SCSS files have also been created in web content, Vadin, themes, recipe book theme. You probably also noticed that the theme was created when we started developing a new application. A file into which we should put our style names is named recipebookTheme.scss. What are the other files? Well, styles.scss is an organizational file. This is the file that the framework looks for when the browser asks it for a stylesheet file. It contains two import statements. One for our stylesheet file, recipe book, and the other for add-ons. The latter is automatically managed by the framework and depends on, as the name implies, add-ons that we have added to our application. Are there any built-in styles? Of course, this is something we will cover in the next video. We have created a theme to our application. Currently, it does nothing as it is empty. In the other videos of this section, we will populate our theme and learn more about styling. At the same time, we will try to improve the looks of our application.